Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I would like to show you one of my drawing studies, drawing of an eye, nose and lips. As a part of my practice, to me, it is a great way to improve in drawing individual facial features, facial parts and make your final portraits look great. Uh, I will always start with practicing the basic outlines and then I will get to the shading part as well. I'm going to use a sketchbook with smoother surface of the paper and graphite pencils F2B, 3B and 4B pencil and also blending stamp and soft paintbrush for blending. I'm taking F pencil to practice the basic outlines of the eye first. I'm usually drawing more of the eyes to learn more about the various shapes and also to try more techniques of drawing them. In this case, I'm using guidelines I use in most of my drawings of eyes. You can find the full tutorial in one of my previous videos, so check that out. I will try to add the link to the description. Uh, as usual, I started with drawing a circle then I add the iris and the pupil plus the light reflection and then I continue adding uh, the eyelids and also eyelashes in the end. I usually draw the basic shapes many times. Uh, sometimes I also practice drawing the shape without using the guidelines, but I recommend to try to sketch some, uh, to try some sketches using the guidelines first to get the proportions and everything into your hand. And also I recommend to draw according to a reference photo first. And when you learn more about all of the shapes and proportions of the eye, then try it even without the reference. And then I will draw the basic shape again and I will focus on the shading part. Uh, for the shading part I will use softer pencils, usually starting with 2B graphite pencil and then I will use the 3B grades for little darker values and 4B for the darker shadows. I tried to use various techniques, actually in this case I was trying to blend the first layer of shading the iris and I just uh, told myself, okay, let's try to use the absorb graphite to shade also the eyeball and the skin on the eyelids. And I did, and I actually, um, I don't usually follow this process, but I think it's great to try various techniques to find the one that fits you the most. Usually I also like to finish the iris first and then go to draw the other parts, but in this case I wanted to build up the values gradually on the whole eye at the same time and I did really like the process. Uh, there are many ways to draw the same eye drawing and I think that you should try them out because you can find some technique which is more suitable for you than the one that you used recently and I think it's great to give it a try. <laughs> So I recorded this video on Monday morning and I think it's a great way to start my week. I listened to a very calm and soothing music and it helped me to get into the right mood for drawing. And this is very important for me, uh, get into the right mood for drawing. Try to stay relaxed. Uh, if you get into some tense or just, you just don't feel like drawing, just try to relax for a while before you start drawing or stop for a while when you already started. Do not push yourself when you don't feel it. When I get tired or I get a little stressed or anything like that, I usually stop the process for a while and I go to have a few sun salutations from my yoga practice or just listen to some music and dance for a while or I go for a walk or I do anything that is totally different from the drawing activity and I must say it helps, it helps a lot, it works great, uh, maybe even after a few minutes you'll be refreshed and able to continue and be more creative and more effective. So give it a try as well. <laughs> also please do not let 
your mistakes discourage you. Do not give up just because you make some mistakes. I said this many times before and I will keep saying it, I'm so sorry, but I really think this is important information to share with you guys. We all make mistakes. Uh, you could see I also made some mistakes during this uh, process and I already practiced this kind of drawing a lot. Do not worry, when you make a mistake uh, or you don't like the drawing you just created, just draw over it or simply erase the mistake and draw it again. Just try to imagine your sketchbook as a playground, your own playground. It is not your final thesis, it is not some kind of exam. At school it is your safe place where you can do anything and no one will judge you or criticize you for that. Let it be more playful, do not hurry, try to take every mistake you made as a new way of seeing your skills, as a new opportunity to learn something new. I must admit there was a time I was really hard on myself, I pushed myself to practice more, to improve faster, but then I realized how much better I can feel, how much more effective I can become, how much I can improve when I take a little break to relax. In realism it is very important to pay attention to the lights and shadows uh, because these create uh, the illusion of form and when we don't understand the whole composition and the conception and don't get it right we won't be able to achieve the realistic result even when we got the proportions right. So before shading I always try to notice where the light source is coming from to learn more about the form being wrapped around the light, the light, to learn about the shadows letting us know where the form is curved, what part is closer to us and so on. So that is why I use many grades of pencils to create a wider range of values, a higher contrast and to give the drawing more depth because to me uh, this is one of the most important things in realism.
I practice the facial features separately usually because it helps me to focus only on the concrete part of the face. I do not have to think about the placement or sizes in comparison with the other parts. Uh, these are, of course, these are important as well. I practice drawing faces a lot, but in this part of my practice, I'm trying to pay attention only to the object I'm drawing, uh, the lips right now, uh, like nothing else exists at the moment. The real-time version of this video and also fully narrated process will be uploaded to my Patreon account, so make sure to check that out. It is also a way to support my work and to make the content here on my YouTube channel and my Instagram account possible. And the link will be in the end of this video and also down below in the description. So thank you for all your support. Also, the tutorials on how to draw eyes, nose or lips will be listed down below in the description so you can learn to draw any of them. And that's all for me for today. I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Also, share it with your friends. And make sure to subscribe to my channel because many new videos are coming soon. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!